Welcome to day five. Today is a special day. We're going to take a little bit of a break from all the boring lecturing classes and we're going to build something. So this is a challenge for you guys to build something from scratch using what you've previously learned. If you need to go back and rewatch it, totally fine. Don't stress about it, but this will not be a guided lesson. So we have three prompts for you to follow, or you can kind of make up your own and see what's a good fit. So what you can accomplish today is you can add a fourth light to the previous project, the one we just did here. If you can add a fourth light and use the fourth dip switch, um, or the way the challenge is supposed to go is by using three switches, adding a fourth light somehow. So it's going to have to be a unique set of lights on and off. Ignore this fourth one if you really want the challenge. The next one would be adding party lights. We're going to, you know, it's it's a little boring when you're stuck under the ocean and, you know, in a spaceship and, you know, there's not much to do. So let's spice it up by adding an array of party lights and have them blink in whatever pattern that you want. But it's got to be cool and it's got to go with good music. The last one would be counting to 10 in binary using four LEDs. So those are our challenges for you. You can choose to pick one of them or you can choose to go your own route. Something that would enhance your experience while being lost in space is the ideal. Once you are done, this is how we're going to collaborate and share as a community. So as you see here, we have circuits, the ones that we just did. We have this little gear icon. So well, we'll click here. We'll go to properties, set the name to whatever. And if it's easier, let's actually just add hyphen creative day at the end. That way we all know that we can share between each other and we know it's creative day one. So it makes searching so much easier. For description, just go ahead and write creative day one lost in space challenge that way again we all know what's going on and then below that you're going to write what you did so whatever your circuit does kind of explain it here best of your abilities and it'll help you practice kind of explaining your circuits so here for tags we're going to put inventor.io uh, comma nice lost in space. So that way we know either these tags will go and we'll be able to search all these tags and we'll be able to find all the creative days for creative day one. We'll be able to figure out, you know, if you kind of want to cheat a little, <laughs> to use somebody else's stuff. You know, it's it doesn't have to be perfect. Go and get inspired by the community members. See what they've built. If you're running out of ideas, sometimes it's better just to have something working and then just sit there and be stalled out. So... You want my permission, there it is. Next, we go to privacy. We're going to hit public. We're going to fill out the not robot thing. This is very difficult because I actually am a robot. Joke's on them. I'm a good robot. And I'm going to set this to public domain. If you used any tweaks on other people's stuff, this is where you're going to follow whatever method they had if you went and used somebody else's code. So make sure to look into that. If it's your own code, you can set it to whatever. I'm going to hit save changes. And now we can see here it's public and that allows us to share it with everybody else. This is really a community project. It's a lot more fun when we're involved with 100,000 people. So let's be as proactive as possible. Share it, get your code out there. And yeah, let's make something meaningful. See you in the next day where we start to work with light. And that'll be very interesting. We need to repair that battery. We really do. All right, talk soon.